and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Doc. So the question is, is the statement, God helps those that help themselves, a Bible verse? Uh, interestingly enough, according to the Barna Research Group, 82% of Americans believe that the statement, God helps those who help themselves, is a Bible verse. More surprising than that, though, is that in that same survey, 81% of Christians that were surveyed also believe the statement to be from the Bible. This expression, of course, is not in the Bible. It's actually antithetical to, to Scripture. For Isaiah chapter 25, verse 4, the prophet says that God is a defense or that he helps the helpless and a defense or that he helps the needy in their times of distress. I will delve a little more into the Bible for a moment, but where did this statement first come from? Surely it was used in different forms before 1698, but in 1698, a gentleman by the name of Algernon Sidney in an article entitled Discourses Concerning Government stated that God helps those that help themselves. However, the term itself was not popularized until 1757 when Benjamin Franklin recorded in Poor Richard's Almanac the same statement that God helps those that help themselves. And since Franklin's statement in the Almanac, many, including Christians, have taken this statement to be Holy Scripture. However, it's found nowhere in the Bible, nor is the sentiment taught in the Bible. So let's think of grace just for a moment. Grace is literally when God does for us what we cannot do for ourselves. It's what he gives us, that which we cannot earn on our own. Grace is unmerited favor. It means that Whenever we realize that we cannot do it, God steps in and does it. So the idea that God helps those that helps themselves is antithetical, antithetical to grace itself, and it is not taught in the Scripture. So grace saves us, and grace also sustains us. So in other words, grace is what God uses to bring us into a right relationship with Him, and grace is also what God uses to carry us through this life. Consider the verses, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For it is by grace you've been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no man can boast. So when we think of salvation, God doesn't help those that can help themselves. God helps those that realize they're totally and utterly completely helpless and need him. That's why in Romans 5 and 8 it says, but God demonstrated his love for us that while we were still sinners, in other words, we couldn't help ourselves, Christ died for us. Jesus paid it all as we sing from the hymnal and as it's recorded in the scripture. Secondly, not only does grace save us, but grace sustains us. The apostle Paul was experiencing some challenges in his life. He referred to it as a thorn in his flesh, this whatever, we don't know exactly what it was, but it was bothering him and keeping him from really moving forward with the mission of God in his life and in his day. And Paul writes about this thorn in the flesh, referring to it as a messenger of Satan. He said, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away, but the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness or in your helplessness. Therefore, Paul says, I'll boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses or about my helplessness so that Christ's power may rest in me. So God begins the work when we cannot do it ourselves and our confession of this. That's why in James chapter 4, verse 10, James writes, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. When does God step in? When we humble ourselves enough to say, Okay, God, 
I cannot do it. Then he steps in. Jesus right, or John records Jesus' words in John 15, 5. I'm the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If we really want to live the life that God desires for us, the one that would be best for us and most useful for the kingdom, we must understand that God doesn't help those that help themselves that God helps those that totally and completely depend on him. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says it this way, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and then he steps in and makes your path straight. I hope this uh, clarifies the question concerning does God help those that help themselves? Please continue to send questions. I'm enjoying the process myself. Remember, God loves you and so do we. Have a great week.